Friends, in this video for I Thought Wealth, I'm going to talk to you on the topic why the order book is not everything. We have a recent trend where companies which announce orders are going up very quickly, especially in the capital goods and the project space. This is not new. It has happened in past cycles. Whenever a company announces a big order, the market immediately factors in that the big order would mean big profits. But this assumption is too rash. It's not backed by fact. It's not backed by maths. It's not even backed by reason. Companies always operate in a highly competitive environment. To top it, the current business environment is inflationary and nobody knows how this inflationary environment will turn out. So, in the absence of visibility on inflation, to blindly assume that a big order would translate automatically into big profits is not a smart thing to do. Execution is another important aspect. Not all companies are capable of executing correctly. Often, that execution can meet extraneous factors. Many times, I have seen these companies which take orders outside India get caught in geopolitics. We have seen that in Iraq and now we are seeing that in Afghanistan. We have seen that in many other countries also. So what happens is there is a regime change in that country and this company gets stuck. All the money it has spent in the project is not recoverable. And then for a long time, whatever the company earns in all the other good projects that it is doing will be lost because of the impact of this bad project or the project gone bad. So this scenario is very often likely in companies that are seeking very aggressive growth. We have seen in the past product companies wanting to do projects business so that they can show high growth. They want to show high revenue growth. So the product company enters a project business. So they get into EPC, they get into execution and all these things mean that they are going to see a dramatic change in capital efficiency. As a product company, the company may have operated in a rather efficient environment, but when it becomes a project company, firstly, it does not have the kind of experience to manage a project business. It is a new business for it. Even if the company has supplied products earlier to these projects, it has no meaning uh, to their future in the project's business. The project business is a totally different beast and taming that beast calls for very different management skills. It calls for very different capital allocation skills and superior time management and cost management skills. Most companies which went from products to projects have failed in this. So, when product companies say they become project companies and they show big project orders, the market tends to cheer. But as an investor, we should be more careful, more cautious, try and analyze what is going to be that company's competence in executing these projects. Try to see if this revenue growth, which is going to be rapid, will actually be matched by profit growth. Some companies tend to show profits. Accounting is such a convenient thing that they can show profits also. But these profits also will not translate into cash flow. So when you go into the cash flow statement, you see that these profits are not going to translate into cash flows. And if they are not going to translate into cash flows, this growth is only going to weaken these companies. We are just seeing early stages of companies showing big contracts, big projects, big orders. This will get accelerated in the next two to three years because governments across the world are investing in infrastructure. Companies are trying to make the most out of this opportunity. Everybody wants greater share and bigger participation. So everybody is taking greater risks in this area. But what these risks mean to the company's future, how they will affect the company, how the company will manage these risks in the future, the preparedness of the company to manage these risks are all question marks. So to just blindly jump into the circuit filter on the day an order is announced only means that we are undermining the risks or we are dismissive of the risks before a company. That, in my opinion, is not a sound investment approach. You need to carefully weigh a company's capacity to handle growth, especially when that growth is not likely 
to be as profitable as its existing business and when that growth is going to have very low margins and that growth could mean serious risk to the cash flows of the business. When you have all these things, I think the order book has no meaning to the valuation and cheering an order book is fraught with risks. We have seen this in the past cycle. So many infra companies which had massive order books, which showed massive project growth, companies which bid and took projects on the one side so that they can show more EPC, EPC revenue on the other side have gone bust. This is not an isolated instance. This will repeat again, it can repeat again and companies do not have the ability to raise the capital for unlimited growth and they need to manage the growth within their ability to create capital for that growth. So while it's all nice to have orders, the company should also be able to create the capital in the nearest time and also do it in a very uh, systematic way. Unless you do all these things, this growth could be harmful to the company rather than beneficial. So don't jump when you see an order book grow. Don't jump when you see a company get a big order. Don't jump to buy when you hear very positive commentary from management after an order win. The game has not even started and it's a long game and a tiring game. So be prepared to play that game slowly. Keep your energies intact. Don't waste them on companies in the early stage of the game. Keep your energies long enough so that you get into the game when you are citing victory in the game. So in that sense, how to play this game has to be very different from the way we are all playing it. If you like this video, do share it with your friends who cheer every new order gain in a company, who like to buy shares on the circuit when they hear that companies have got big orders. They would be seeing this video and forming their own investment perspective. Thank you very much.